Right, finally made it here. Sorry for the red light, by the way. Um, my lift's got a bit sore lately, but yeah, we're gonna set this up, give you a see what it looks like. Yeah, we'll see you there. Right guys, um, as you can see I've pretty much completed my table, I'm giving you a sneak preview of what it looks like and uh, we'll see how it all goes tomorrow. <laughs> um, really excited to be honest, um, I've obviously already paid half my table by the pre-orders so we'll see how it goes tomorrow. Day one, um, I'm on my way to London Film Con Con now for day one, this is going to be very exciting, you saw my setup day, I thought we would buy, oh by the way, to my wife. Look, sweetie shop. <laughs> uh, or oh, close down sweetie shop. Uh-oh, she's not going to be happy with me if I show down and close down one. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I hope you're having a wonderful day so far. We'll see you there. Hey guys, finally made it to my day one, just by the nick of time and running around frantically and setting up my signs, which I forgot yesterday, like a herpa derp I am. By the way, I'd like to introduce you to an art friend of mine. Would you like to introduce yourself to everyone? Hi, I'm Jaina. Hello. And you are the author of Vampire Freestyle? Yes. Tell us what it's about. Uh, it's about vampires, which is magic and uh, a black card. You like vampires here? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I better get, get on it and we'll see you around. Yep, uh, things a bit quiet so far, but uh, I've still got my hopes up. I think everyone's just looking around Friday. Saturday's going to be where it gets really busy, so we'll see you around. Yeah, so my prints, uh, that was pretty awesome, um, which brought the Dragon Mistress print, which is, where are you? Uh, I can't find you. <laughs> there, that one, and the, that one, that one was sold, and the, uh, actually the OG, my OG art style. So yeah, that was pretty cool. Looks like that was pretty cool. Hey guys, uh, still a bit of a slow day so far, but hopefully we'll catch up soon. <laughs> Hi everyone, um, end of day one, um, very, very dead, like this is the deadest con I've had, like usually I have like five sales of books, but I only had like one sale of the offer on prints. Um, I'm not just determined, everyone's going for it, um, all of us merchants and the artists and that, we've all gone through the same thing, but hopefully um, keep up a positive attitude and tomorrow should be a big one because apparently they're all sold out, so fingers crossed. <laughs> hey everybody. So yesterday was quiet, so today I'm going to be determined to get quite a lot of sales. So fingers crossed, push me luck. Um, see you in there. Hi everybody, I finally arrived after so many delays. By the way, are you guys ready for London and Phil Comic Con? Thank you very much. See you later. Hi everybody, I managed to finally get to my store. I was a little late on the opening. That is because uh, some idiots decided to buy an a train in front of me. That I wasn't on that train, I was on the train before it. But it did cause delays along the line. And uh, long story short, I had a hell of a time getting here as quickly as possible. So PSA, if you're planning on vandalizing or something on the train, please don't do it, because it just causes drama. Anyways guys, that's my video for today. I had first sale of the day! Um, not even an hour and already got a sale. By the way, I want to introduce you to some other lovely artists around here to check out. So we're going to check out this lovely boy here. Introduce yourself. Hey, I'm Frosty. Um, I don't know if I don't have a lot of words, but hey. So if you watch this after the fact, the con, go and follow this guy. He is on Twitter. And he's more poses. <laughs> and Gangstagram, as I call it. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, by the way, he's got some lovely holographic prints. How much are they? 
uh, 25, but if you are a follower, you get three pounds off. Do it. Seriously, these are lovely holograms and I've seen them for myself. So, this week. Right, next on to the next artist. Right, he's busy. Go check out this lovely artist here. Would you like to introduce yourself to everyone? I'm Jess, we've gone by Jess S. Yes, what do you do? Uh, I do Barry and Jack. There you go. So, after the fact, um, where can they find you? Um, Instagram at broad.by.net.f or Tiffany.com as well. Or Facebook. There, there you go. Thank you very much. We'll see you later. Um, we've been having a really good day. I'm pretty much halfway through my day now. Uh, five sales of volume one alone. Maybe coming back for the rest of the books for some people. So yeah, it's actually really cool actually. Uh, guys um amazing day today um gone at home not, not just broke even today but i made a couple like made a bit of profit today so hopefully the streak will carry on thank you guys out there for the pre-orders before the con that really helped me out and obviously now with the sales today it has really helped me out to push over to breaking even and now into making profit so thank you all guys for supporting me and my book series You've all been a fantastic lot of people, not just the FC community, but the VTS community as well. Thank you so much. Hi everyone, um, day two complete. Um, like I said before, I am now in the property zone, so fantastic. I had a brilliant time, met some fantastic cosplayers as you saw throughout the video, and hopefully it'll be the same tomorrow. Uh, it's been a bit of a good day for me, so I'll see you all later. Hey guys, just waiting for a cab right now. I'm going to be on my way to uh, the last day. I can't believe it. This weekend has, well, Friday dragged because it was slow, and Saturday just thought it was just so busy. It was manic. Um, hopefully for another busy day today. Um, yeah, it, it's absolutely been, been a good weekend for me, I think. Um, not just obviously because I made profit, uh, a little bit of profit, or hopefully make some more today, but finally getting back out there, talking to my fans, you know, or talking to new people and stuff like that. And it made me realize since COVID how much I've missed this and how much I thrive on this. So. Uh, yeah, uh, I just want to say for you guys who have visited me during London Film Con, Con, thank you so much for even just visiting me and giving me a hello and a chat. Um, you know, it, it's been a wonderful con and I've met some amazing people on there and hopefully you'll still be in contact with me. Or go on my Twitch channel and have a little now with me. <laughs> Anyways, I'll see you there. Guys, this is part three. We are here finally after, um, finally after a bit of a mix-up on the trains. Uh, <laughs> uh, some trains come here, some trains don't. No, this is James, my good friend. He actually stores my books in his store. Do you want to tell yeah, us about store? Uh, New Stand Comics in Dartford. Pretty easy to find. Big yellow sign out front that says Comic Book Shop. Right in front of Dartford State. Yeah, hundreds of second-hand manga volumes available for £4 each. Yep, and uh, you get my anger series from there. Go to him as well. Right, right. Support your local stores. Anyways, right. and your local creators. There aren't that many of them, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Not many of us out there. Exactly. I'm multiplying. But anyway, <laughs> see you later. See you around. See you around. Right. 
You too. All right then. Anyways, guys, see you later. Yeah, and it was the mega bundle. So there's a second mega bundle that was brought. Uh, that was absolutely fantastic. And uh, I want to say thank you to a uh, special someone who brought me tea this morning. Being the true tea cultist, we are indoctrinating him. <laughs> See all I have. Hiya, everybody. Um, so, so far, um, we've hit, sold 10 books, um, two of them with a the mega bundle, which is absolutely awesome. So two of the prints are, two more prints are gone, so it seems to be a bit more popular today than yesterday. Um, yeah, I'm actually super pleased how it's going so far. I've met a lot of nice people, I've seen some cosplayers. Um, yeah, see you all later. Uh, what's your little raptor's name? Blue. Blue, haha. <laughs> Friendly? Come here. That's it. Clever girl. There you go. <laughs> Hi everybody, um, this is the end of the show now. As you can see, everyone's packing up, including myself. Uh, while I've packed up, I'm just leaving. Um, yeah, it was a bit quiet upstairs. We had a few things here and there sales-wise, but um, pretty quiet overall. But you know what? I made a few new art friends, uh, hopefully a few new fans, and uh, hopefully we'll see everyone soon at another con. Um, the next one I'll hopefully be planning if, um, if I do get the table this time round is MCM, uh, October. If I do, I do. If I don't, I don't. Uh, either way, I'm kind of, do you know what? Let's just see what happens. So, yeah, it was a good return to the con circuit and uh, hopefully I'll see you all soon or chat to you soon on Twitch. Laters. Hi, everybody. Um, this is the end of the video. So I wanted to discuss some serious things about um what happened at nfc um some of you who have been there or maybe look up the hashtags may know what it's about but i put the link if the thread is still there in the description where it's been first talked about on twitter um just to make you guys aware of what's been going on now i have talked to one of the officials and they did apologize which was great and um they did talk me through some of the reason why things are things why the things have happened but I think, to be honest, I need to give a general review here of my experience with LFCC. Um, getting in, not not a problem at all. I just got straight in, got the ticket, blah, blah, blah. Fantastic. Wish there was maybe a little interview process to check who's like, you know, original artist, who's there, you know, like, like MCM did before they got a little bit weird, but we'll go on to that later. So, um, first things off, um, there was a lack of signage. Um, I'll go. We're gonna get through the bad stuff first. Actually, before we do, um, this is to LFCC and Showmasters. Um, this is a criticism. I'll say what I've heard or what I know is fact. But if you do try and shut me down for any reason, that is against freedom of speech. So I'm not slandering you. I'm not trying to harm you. I'm trying to get points across so you guys hopefully can improve for next time. And hopefully when I come over, I have all the artists, including myself, will have a 100% better experience. We want to be a part of this community. It's just, if we are going to be part of this community, there are certain things that need to be addressed. One of them is lack of signage. Now, I did get told why this has happened, and I do kind of get it. But at the end of the day, it should have been addressed in the first place, where literally you had a big grey wall. Um, right in front of us where you, you could look down onto the people and there was nothing on the back of the wall saying we artists were up there which made it hard for us you know for people to know where we are and to get sales like nobody knew who we were there really unless you kind of got forced upstairs or you just took a wonder um there's no sign downstairs to say there's artists alley up there or you know like comics people and stuff like that like the only reason that people came by our way is where they did signage and stuff like that. And 
even though you told me why, there's still, I think that is a ground for improvement. Um, so hopefully you guys will take that on the chin. Um, and guys, um, when I'm talking about these things, please don't jump down their throats. This is just to hopefully, you know, as someone who's passionate to get my books out there, they'll take what I say, put it into consideration, hope put it into practice. Um, um, the second bit, um, this is not a major, this is more of a nitpick, honestly. Um, MCM charged like £120 for two people on one table. Um, you charge a hell of a lot more for two people. Um, I think you should reduce that, honestly. But, you know, if you take it, yep. Yeah, if you don't, that's fine. But um, it would be great to get an extra pair of hands where I don't have to pay out more and risk more to lose money. Like... That generally one hundred and twenty pound hundred rate is usually the mark where we should be like, yeah, we're fine. We should be confident to get our money back from that at least. Um, that is a one thing I will point out because it's like a hundred and twenty, hundred and thirty, I think, for just one person artist alley on a table and charging an extra forty quid. Not great, guys. I'm not gonna lie. Not brilliant. Um, also, um, what was the other thing? Now, this is hearsay, so I will say if it please, if anyone knows or got screenshots of this to confirm it, please do. Artists were complaining earlier, and someone apparently did post as well to tell people to go upstairs as a fan. Um, but Showmasters apparently, this is only apparent, apparently started uh, threatening people to ban them and threatening artists to ban them if they put any more complaints on social media. And all the complaints I've seen were actually valid and, you know, critiqued, not um, slander. It wasn't insults or anything. Um, we I know we live in a reactionary world these days, but Showmasters, you are a company and you should know better than that. Um, you should, if this is true, you cannot go around silencing people if anything bad said about you or someone has to take matters into their own hands to get us promoted. You know, it this is your responsibility you should have took that on the chin and honestly if it is true you should be damn well ashamed of yourselves for that part if it's not then i'll take that back but if it is keep that in mind keep it professional next time and actually discuss with us why we feel the way we do the one thing i will say though i will not condone is towards the end of the con i don't know if it was an artist or a person took matters into their own hands when they heard about this and then trashed the bathroom. I get like you're angry on our behalf, whoever did this, but please, please, please do not go trashing around bathrooms. It makes us look bad. It makes the con look bad because it's not their venue. It's the venue they rented for that, you know, for that day. So next time you want to take matters in your hands, please talk to the organizers. Don't go trashing things. Because trust me, it's just going to make things worse for us. It's going to make things worse for the convention. And it's going to make things worse for the owners of that building in general. So um, whoever did this, please, please, please um, do not take matters in your own hands next time. Overall, I did have a really good time though at the end. And it wasn't um, to the con. It was to the people, the artists like Artist Frosty and all the other fantastic artists that met me on there artists i've known fans i've known the um new fans i've made um stuff like that so generally speaking i had a really good time but there are some big 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 negatives that need to be addressed i will not mention the other thing because i know there's things going around about one of the stranger things actors got treated badly but that's only from hearsay at the moment I know I heard it's been confirmed by a couple of people, but again, it's hearsay and I'd rather the actor from that, uh, from Stranger Things to actually speak up and actually say it himself. Um, but if it, ha if it is true, we do support you, buddy. I heard you're a fantastic guy. Yeah, you deserve the world, mate. Um, I think that's it. The only reason I mentioned MCM in passing, I think you need to look at what Comic Village did in the past before it became Artist Alley what they did right because comic village was absolutely fantastic before it became artist alley um with the application how they treat their artists how they advertise their artists everything i think you need to look back to that mcm i know this is not about you but you need to do this as well because lately you've been slacking and you've been treating your artists in the application stage like crap i cannot speak for 
as is how they're being treated during con. I'm hoping it's all, all good still there, but the application process, you need to uh, revise what you're doing, honestly. Um, and Hyper Japan, um, obviously the prices wise, you have the same criticism because I've seen you charge 300 quid for a table every time to an artist and we are going to be like, no. So please lower it to what MGM does. MGM has the golden standard uh, when it comes to pricing and I think they're the only ones who've got the pricing for tables for artists right. Anyways, um, what about the positives? Community, fantastic. I loved all the community that been there. I love the fans, the cosplays were absolutely fantastic. Um, and I heard when actually stuff on the stage was going on, I heard people generally had a good time. So that's a positive. Um, fantastic. I wish I was there, but I didn't, I was on my own. So I couldn't exactly move. I couldn't exactly see all the stores. When I did go down and see the stores went on my way out, it's actually a lot more diverse than when I was last there. That is a positive because um, last time I was there, it was just like movie stuff like that. Very little anime stuff. But I've noticed anime has blown recently. Um, still not big enough yet, but if they can do something with that to make like maybe like a movie village, an anime village, um, artist village even. Like this is actually a suggestion from me. Um, and obviously have um, like, you know, maybe like fan art village as well and you know, but basically have different counts for different things and make it easy to map out so people will know because Olympia has got that potential for easy mapping. And if you can actually get a brochure advertising everything and tell them where everyone is and stuff like that, that will be also a really fantastic criticism, actually. I just thought on my head. Um, but anyways, I think that is it for now. I had to address some very serious stuff. Sadly, um, the negatives that I had to say was more than the pros. And I'm sorry, of CC, but sometimes things need to be said. Um, anyways, guys, far from the community, thank you for supporting me. Thank you for buying my books. Thank you for being fantastic in general and talking with me and, you know, supporting each other. And why the artists kind of unionized together to solve some problems ourselves during the LFCC was absolutely fantastic. Anyways, guys, I'll see you all later. Have a good day. Whee! Oh,